Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope everyone's enjoying the last bit of summer since we're already in August. I can't believe it. I feel like summer just started and I'm like, holy cow, it's only a couple of weeks left until the warm weather disappears and we are stuck with the cold. So I hope everyone is out there enjoying the sun, trying to get their tan on and just trying to enjoy the summertime fun as well. So tonight I am gonna talk about wine and wine glasses um, as well. Um, I know I don't like inexpensive wine glasses, so I am gonna talk about where I get my cute wine glasses from as well tonight, along with barefoot wine talk. So I'm gonna get right into it for you guys. And yeah, so tonight I'm gonna show you this cute wine glass that I bought. Um, it says bless and it has cute little flowers going around it and i thought this was very cute very girly and yes i already poured my wine into the glass as you can see <laughs> and i just thought it was very cute and girly and cute for the summertime um something you can use in the backyard when you're hanging out with your girlfriends um, I did get this glass from the Christmas tree store. It is a very popular store in New Jersey. Um, a lot of people go there for their wine glasses, also for home decor, and they have some very cute holiday stuff as well. Um, this glass, I paid maybe between a dollar and two dollars for this wine glass. And like I said, it's cute and it's simple and it's girly. And that's why I picked it out and I thought I was sure with you guys. So tonight wine that I'm gonna taste for you guys since I already have it in my cute glass um, is the Barefoot Watermelon. Now I've been tasting a lot of the Barefoot Summer Collection for you guys. And I noticed that it is very light on my stomach and which I do have a system stomach and it is very light on my stomach so far I have no issues in the morning when I wake up um, with this wine when it comes to my stomach and which I like a lot so I figured I'll continue trying the flavors out for you guys so that's why I'm going to try the watermelon for you guys. So this is the watermelon. Barefoot. And it's nice and red. Nice and bright. Now I do notice with these types of wine, it tastes really good when you leave it in the fridge overnight. And it's nice and chill. And we pour it into the glass and we sip it. It is very refreshing when you take that first sip. Um, I know I don't really like my drinks too chill because it makes my body cold. But with this, I would take an exception and I would keep it in the fridge overnight. And that way it's that nice, very chill drink um, from the next day. So I'm going to get right into it and I'm going to taste this wine for you guys. So, what I do is, I swish my wine, then I smell my wine, so that way my intakes can compare what's about to go down. I actually don't really smell the watermelon as I thought I was going to smell. And now I'm gonna sip into paradise. It is good. Um, it's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be um, since it is watermelon, but it is good. Um, I would rate it probably a six 
only because when I think of watermelon, I think of very, very sweet watermelon. And I'm not getting that very, very sweet taste from this. But it is good. Um, I do have a chill. And I, like I said, I would rate it a uh, six because when I think of watermelon, I think of it very, very sweet. And watermelon is supposed to be sweet because it's summertime. It's a summertime flavor. And I'm not getting that vibe with this wine. Um, but don't hesitate to try it. Your taste buds is different from my taste buds. So you might think that it's very sweet while I don't think it's that much sweet um, for me. But yeah, so I rate this wine is six. And yeah, so that would be all for tonight. Um, I hope you guys enjoy my channel. Um, I hope you guys like, subscribe, and follow. And guys, stay tuned for next week. And we'll talk more about wine. Bye.